Well, for the third time in the past five seasons, the Astros are moving on to the World Series. <laughs> Going on, everybody. Welcome to the Philly Zets. So, Vidic Castillo, you're going to in the American League Championship Series between the Boston Red Sox and the Houston Astros. As the Astros win the American League Championship Series in six games as they are moving on to the World Series. I guess before we get into this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please hit the notification bell. Please like this video, comment on this video, share this video. And let's get into this. So as you can see, I am in a hotel, right? I am in a hotel right now. I am coincidentally in Boston, Massachusetts right now, right? Uh, so it's kind of funny, right? Of course, the Red Sox, you know, got eliminated last night in Houston. Uh, not in Boston, but in Houston, right? Of course, I just missed them. Uh, you know, I would have liked to possibly go into a game. Wouldn't that have been amazing, right? Uh, go to an American League, you know, championship series game, you know, playoff game. That would have been really, really cool. You know, not a Red Sox fan, of course. It still would have been cool just for the experience, right? I, you know, went to a Red Sox game in July of 2016 to see David Ortiz, you know, playing his final season against the Angels. That's the game he lost, like, what was it, 20 to something, right? Uh, that was an awful, awful game for the Red Sox. But moving on here, the Astros, right? I mean, it's just amazing, right? I mean, Dusty Baker, you know, taking the helm last season in 2020, right? Of course, they did lose in the championship series in seven games to the Tampa Bay Rays, who would go on to lose in the World Series to the Dodgers. And then this year, I know they come in and uh, they beat the Sox. They beat the Sox, right? They beat the White Sox. And then they beat the Red Sox. Two really, really hot teams going in. My gut told me the Red Sox were going to win this, but it turns out the Houston Astros do it. So, you know what? This has got to be feeling great for them. This has got to be feeling great for them. You know why? They have just gotten so much hate over the past two years. Right? And, and you understand it. You understand it because of what they did in 2017 and probably through 2019. Uh, but you know what? They're not cheating anymore. Uh, and this guy, this has just got to feel so good. It's just that they win this World Series. They're going to quiet a lot of people. And this is why I think the Astros uh, have a really, really good chance at winning the World Series, right? Despite about what happens in the National League Championship Series, I think that they are just hungry to, you know, win another World Series, right? And this time, I would kind of consider this a kind of more legit World Series since, you know, we know they were not cheating this year, right? It's very, very interesting how this has played out. I mean, of course, the Braves are out. We'll talk about that maybe at the end. The first game, of course, did start off in Houston. Uh, the Astros, of course, they did get the home field advantage in this series. Uh, and they were able to win the first game. Of course, they were trailing for a little bit, right? And you have, uh, you know, Carlos Correa hitting that really long home run. I mean, he literally stared at it. I did not like that at all. I mean, like, he, like, literally took off his arm guard, like, while he... I and mean, that is just outrageous. I mean, that is just... That's not the way the game's played. Listen, I, I, I'm kind of, like, been characterized as kind of an old-school guy that doesn't like the younger generation of players. Well, yada, yada, yada. But you know what? I'm not like that at all. You know what I say? I'm in the middle of the road, which means I, I could go both ways, right? I do like the old-school mentality uh, where you, you just drop the bat and you run around the bases. And I do like some flair. And my favorite player in baseball has a lot of flair and brights, right? Of course, you know, even going back to his, you know, his teenage years. You know, and he wasn't even in professional baseball. You know, the college of Southern Nevada. I mean, he showed a lot of emotion even back then, even in high school. Uh, he did. Of course, he did leave high school in the sophomore year to go on to the college of Southern Nevada so he could be eligible for the MLB draft. But anyway, that's that's not really my point. I do like some of the flair and excitement, and you know, I do I do not mind an occasional bat flip, almost like the Jose Bautista bat flip in 2015. But I did not like this. Uh, the Red Sox, of course, had that very good top of the third inning to put them up in this game, and then the Astros fought back. Of course, that coach Correa. Uh, home run was that solo shot that put him up four to three, right? Now it was a big home run. Don't get me wrong. I don't think it warranted, uh, you know, what he did. And uh, luckily for the Houston Astros, they were able to get that insurance run there in the bottom of the eighth inning on that sacrifice fire. Because of the fact that Kike Hernandez came back in the top of the ninth inning and hit that solo shot. The Astros just barely hung on to win this game, uh, but they did, right? I mean, of course, Justy Baker definitely had his pitching staff on a very, very short leash. Right, of course, you've seen a lot of managers do this this postseason. Of course, Chris Sale, another guy. I mean, he was all right. Right, he only went two and two thirds in this game. He did allow five hits, which wasn't very good. Of course, of course, the Red Sox bullpen uh, did not look very good. Uh, you know, it wasn't absolutely dreadful. It was like the Phillies bullpen, but it still wasn't great. Uh, so uh, this was kind of a back and forth game, and the Astros came out on top. 
Uh, then you got the second game, right? And this was a very, very different tale, right? The uh, Red Sox did win this game 9-5. to They once had a 9 to nothing lead over the Houston Astros uh, at their home ballpark. And J.D. Martinez with that grand slam there in the top of the first. And then, yeah, Ralph Yard Devers hitting a grand slam in the top of the second. Four runs in each play. I mean, it's just absolutely just crazy. You got Keegan Hernandez hitting that other home run. He's just been a, a machine for the Red Sox. Uh, and uh, the, the Astros did kind of attempt a comeback, right? Of course, they uh, did uh, make it 9-5, to five, right? You, you know, Yui Goriel, uh, you know, Kyle Tucker doing their job as well. So, uh, you know, the Astros definitely did try to fight back, but it wasn't good enough as the Red Sox even up this series. Tell you what, I mean, the Astros, they got really, really bad pitching to start the game. Of course, you got Luis Garcia, who was just off the only one in the inning and allowed five runs in. And Jake Odorizzi was a disaster. Uh, another guy that the Phillies actually looked at this bad offseason. Uh, so that name does sound quite familiar. Of course, you know, formerly, I believe, with the Minnesota Twins, uh, you know, going over to the Astros on that free agent deal. And uh, Nathan Evaldi didn't go very deep, but he's pretty decent, right? You know, five and a third, Alex Cora, uh, let him go a little bit. Even when the Astros were kind of, you know, starting to try to come back in the game, I think the you know, Red Sox had confidence in themselves that they were going to win. Uh, so I don't really think they were too worried about it. Uh, so uh, the Red Sox did go on to win that game fairly easily. Of course, then they uh, got on the flight and went to Boston. Uh, and uh, the Red Sox offensive surge continued in Fenway uh, as they took the series lead two to one. As they defeated Houston Astros twelve to three. And one thing that you know just stood out like a sore thumb in this series was the Astros starting staff. I mean, they're, even their bullpen too. Just uh, especially their starting staff, it just absolutely terrible. It just could not locate very well. Of course, you got you know Kyle Schwarber, you know hitting that you know grand slam in the bottom of the second inning to eventually put them up six nothing. Uh, I mean, it just was just a slugfest for the Boston Red Sox. Uh, you know, of course they were once up nine nothing again, right? I mean, they had another nine nothing lead, and the Astros made a little bit of noise with that Kyle Tucker three run shot in the top of the fourth. He got Martinez with that two run shot. This was his. The, the Red Sox just dominated the Astros in this game. Of course, they didn't dominate in the series, but they definitely did in this game. Eduardo Rodriguez was very very, very good. Uh, despite giving up that three-run shot to Kyle Tucker, he looked, uh, you know, pretty solid in this game. I always like the Rado Rodriguez. I do. I really, really do, and I always have. Astros, like I just said before, you see the line from Jose Iriti. I mean, just absolutely terrible. I mean, he just was absolutely dreadful. Only going in and two-thirds. Uh, and, of course, he did uh, allow six, so only five of them were earned. So, uh, not the best. The Astros would return to favorite even up the series as they won 9-2. to two. Uh, So, this would be, uh, you know, a three-game winning streak here for the Astros starting at this game. And things uh, starting off, you know, big for the Houston Astros, right? Just at the top of the first inning, Alex Bregman, one of the best third basemen in baseball, hit that home run. And you got Xander Burgart answering back with a two-run shot. Then you got Jose Altuve coming up in the top of the eighth inning, and he hits a solo shot to tie up the ball game. Uh, and then the Astros would just go absolutely off from here. And I mean, when you see a team score this many runs late in the ball game, they had an amazing top in the ninth inning. Uh, you know, where they scored seven runs. Uh, it just was just crazy. They got a lot of adjourns. Uh, I mean, that, that was just, that was unbelievable. I mean, they were, you know, getting some some lucky hits like that Carlos Correa infield single, that soft little infield single. I mean, they were getting some lucky, lucky contact. Uh, and uh, Nick Pavetta, you know, he looked pretty good to start this game, right? You know, going those five innings, right? Former Phil, of course, just got knocked out of the playoffs. Uh, but uh, I was pretty impressed with what I saw him out of him in this game. Of course, he had a kind of an up-and-down postseason. Uh, but uh, Nathan Evaldi in relief, man, absolutely dreadful. Uh, I, I don't understand why Alex Corey even brought him in. Uh, that didn't really make much sense either. Of course, Zach Granke uh, only going that inning and a third. Uh, and Dusty Baker was not fooling around. Uh, but the Astros managed to get a win here. And then they come back and score nine runs. Two nights in a row uh, as they won 9-1. to one. Um, So, uh, you know, they went back to Houston with a 3-2 series lead. I mean, I think they pretty much knew it was over. Of course, they had the 2019 World Series against the Nets. They went back to Minute Maid Park with a 3-2 series lead in the World Series, and they ended up losing two straight. Things started off with a bang against Chris Sale. Chris Sale was not getting the postseason. He was not. Uh, he was absolutely dreadful to be, you know, to be exact. Uh, as, uh, you know, Ariana Alvarez started off with a bang there for the Houston Astros there and just in the top of the second inning with that solo shot to left center. And, of course, another ball game for the Houston Astros where they scored a lot of runs late, right? You got Ariana Alvarez again with that, you know, two RBI double. You got, you know, Yuri Goriel also with the RBI double. So, uh, you know, they were getting a lot of extra base hits later in the ball game. 
Uh, you know, of course, the Red Sox did make some noise back with that Rafael Devers solo shot in the bottom of seven. That was their only run of the ball game. And, and, and let me just be clear. I mean, the Astros got better starting pitching as the series, you know, kind of went on, right? I mean, I'm going to say Ramey right around like game four on, right? They got much, much better starting pitching. Raver Valdez, I mean, this guy was the savior for the uh, Astros in game five. I mean, absolutely masterful. I mean, this guy really, really saved the bullpen a lot. I mean, going eight innings. Of course, they did have to bring in Ryan Stank to, uh, you know, come in and uh, just pitch that ninth inning. But other than that, man, uh, this, I mean, they really, he really, really helped out the Astros pitching staff. Chris Sale, like I said before, just understand that two of the four runs he allowed were earned, but still not good. I mean, he, he didn't look good from the start, right? Like I talked about, he did not look good from the start. That Sox bullpen was not good at all. Uh, I mean, it just, it all comes down to pitching. It really does. So, uh, they would go back uh, to Houston when they started the uh, first two games of the series, and the Astros have a comfortable five to nothing victory over the Boston Red Sox as they do get their revenge from 2018. Right, of course, when they did lose uh, in five games to the Boston Red Sox. Uh, so this time they return the favor to their former bench coach Alex Cora and his Red Sox. Uh, as uh, they won comfortably five to nothing, it was all Astros in this one. Of course, you know, Alvarez, the guy who just was a machine in this series. You know, Kyle Tucker, you know, hitting that two run shot. I mean, Kyle Tucker got it. I'm not going to say it came out of nowhere, but man, this guy really turned it on, right? And of course, with the loss of George Springer and free agency, you kind of just thought that number one, that was just going to be a big vacant spot in the Astros lineup. Number two, you didn't think Astros were really going to do anything after the loss of George Springer, right? Now it's going to be much, much tougher with the impending free agents, right? You know, of course, especially with, you know, Carlos. Correa, a big bat in that lineup, but they're still winning. They're still winning. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, so uh, they definitely got a good amount of offense in this game. It wasn't you know, anything crazy, but they got enough. Uh, you know, so they got enough. And uh, Luis Garcia, I mean, very, very good in this game. I was very impressed with his stuff. I mean, you know, it almost went six innings. You know, it just was one outside six innings. You know, striking out seven. Uh, even their bullpen was absolutely masterful. Oh, pitching staff was masterful, right? I can talk about, I'm going to say from game four to on, I mean, there's their pitches that was worlds better, worlds better. Uh, and of course, Nathan Evaldi, I kind of felt bad for him, right? I mean, he, you know, got smacked with a loss despite just allowing one or run. Giving up five runs isn't too bad, but it's bad when you don't get any run support. Uh, the Red Sox just absolutely folded. What an awful way to end off their season. But for the, if you're a Houston Astros fan, this has got to feel good, right? You you just been hated on the past two seasons. Everybody thought that their reign was over. Everybody thought that their reign was over. When they got caught cheating, they're like, the, Reds, the Astros are not going to go back to the World Series for a very, very long time. Well, guess what? Just two years later, they are back in the World Series, first time since 2019, when they did lose in seven games to the Washington Nationals. Of course, they did defeat the Los Angeles Dodgers in 2017 when they, then they did cheat. Uh, in seven games at Dodger Stadium. Um, so uh, it's either going to be the Braves or the Dodgers. Just talking about this for a little bit. Braves are just hot, right? I mean, of course, they weren't. They didn't look so good last game, but they've gotten very, very good starting pitching. And it doesn't really surprise me. If you really think about it critically and, like, analyze it, like, it's actually not that big of a surprise, right? I mean, they they were one of the best teams in baseball since the All-Star break. Eddie Rosario, the guy who was traded for Pablo Sandoval, was just amazing, right? I mean, it, it was just amazing. Of course, they did get Ian Anderson back later in the, you know, later in the season. You know, Max Fried is a beast. I mean, Ian Anderson is awesome. Tori Morgan, right? You saw what he did, you know, in 2017, the Houston Astros to now. He's been very, very good. Um, so, I mean, even had a bullpen game, you know, they're, they're pitching something did their job. So, you know, Freddie Freeman, I mean, he didn't look so good early in the series. He's he's done a lot better. Um, so, uh, you know, I mean, they have a lot of talent over there. You know, you have Ronald Cunha Jr. in the lineup. They're just one, one away from the World Series, right? Now, they were in this position last year, though. Let's not forget. You know, and a 3 8 against the Dodgers they ended up losing three straight and getting eliminated, right? Of course, the Dodgers did win two nights ago to make the series 3-2. to two, So, the Dodgers went two in a row. The Braves are out, right? Second year in a row that happened. But my prediction, I think the Braves are going to be appearing in their first World Series since 1999. That is my prediction. I do think they will defeat the Los Angeles Dodgers. But who knows? I've been wrong about a lot of things. I just think that you're going back home. I think they're going to bounce back, and I think they're going to win. Uh, but uh, I can also see it going the other way. I mean, you know, the Dodgers had that day off yesterday. Like, just win two straight games. It's not that hard. So I can see it going away, but my gut tells me the Atlanta Braves will win. Uh, so, uh, guys, if you watch this video, please subscribe if you have not yet. Please hit the notification bell. Please like this video. Comment on this video. Share this video. Check out the social media. Link in the description section. And Philly's hat. So, Instagram. Check it over to Instagram. Car text 267 225 3392. Email. Gmail.com. So, guys, since you're watching, I will see you uh, to recap the National League Championship Series and World Series game recaps, right? So, I'm excited for that. So, guys, since you're watching, I'm Luke. I like you, graduate. The Houston Nationals are advancing on to the World Series. I'll see you again.